Hi, I'm Cheryl Salman and we still have our two guests. We've got Dr. Janani Sivanathan as well as Zandria Oi. And we're going to take some questions from Zandria's followers um, regarding um, your reproductive health. And of course, there's no other better person to ask than Dr. Janani. So we have all of these questions here. Hello, Doctor. Hi. Yes, I think Zandria, you want to... Um, do yes, so my know. Instagram and Facebook followers know Dr. Janani really well by now because I'm always talking about her um, in my She's stories, in my IG stories, in Facebook stories. So then, uh, one of the most common questions um, that the audience was asking was, what is endometriosis? Yes. Endometriosis is the presence of the cells which were supposed to be in the womb, but it is outside. Outside the womb, either in the tubes or in the ovaries. Right. So okay. it is not in the correct place. Okay. All right. Understand. The second question is, what are the symptoms of endometriosis? So symptoms of endometriosis, unfortunately, is all pain, pain, pain. <laughs> yes, yes. So there'll be pain before the periods, pain during the periods, pain after the periods, pain during having sexual intercourse, pain uh, when passing motion. So it is it's just a constant pain. pain all the time. So if you have constant pain, even before you're sexually active, when you have your period, then it's a sign that you may have endometriosis. Yes, that is true. Right. Wow. Okay. It's good to know. What are the treatments available for endometriosis? Endometriosis treatment, a lot of lifestyle modification can help, especially when during the period time um, to sort of alleviate the symptoms. Mm -hmm. um, you can do exercise, uh, relaxation techniques, certain food may help. Okay. Um, and medical management per se would be um, oral contraceptive pills, okay. um, injectables, um, hormonal treatments, and uh, if it this doesn't help, we can also use an intrauterine system called the Marina. And last resort is surgery to remove if there's an ovarian cyst or just remove the entire womb. It's, it's just something that we have to take note of because I think a lot of women are living with endometriosis but Suffering don't in silence. know. Will I be able to have a baby with endometriosis? Yes, the, the possibility is there. However, uh, with endometriosis, because like I mentioned, the, the cells are present in the tubes. So this can cause uh, scarring effects and it may be more difficult to conceive. So the best option is if you know you have endometriosis, is to check with your doctor uh, preconception when you're planning for your pregnancy to ensure that everything is smooth flowing in the womb and in the tubes. I understand. Once you can conceive with endometriosis, then is it uh, is it easy to carry the baby to full term or yes, is it after harder? that, after that, it, the best thing is actually to get pregnant if you have endometriosis oh. because during pregnancy, you have no period. So mm, the disease okay. process itself reduces Which and means doesn't less progress. Pain? Yes, so you won't have pain because you don't have period. What about after time. you give birth? After you give birth, for some women, the disease process itself reduces. <gasps> Thank you so much, ladies. You're welcome. If you found this video on endometriosis helpful, then remember there's another one on PCOS.